In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about the configuration of an MC or a micro comparator product. Um, information that Coin Mechanisms wants to know if you have a question or any kind of inquiry about the, the product is we would like to know the CMI number. The CMI number is like our product uh, part number. It's, a, it's an eight digit number. It always uh, starts with uh, 66. In the case of uh, MC product, it starts with 6646, but we would like to know that eight digit number. If you also know the serial number, the serial number can help if we're looking up a very, very old mechanism. The serial numbers were used uh, uh, strictly in the really early stages of the comparator, and we'd be able to look up a, a, a specific unit by the serial number also. If you remove the cover, other information that's helpful for us is if there's a label on the P printed circuit board. There, there may be a, a label on the printed circuit board. In this case, there would be a label on the microcontroller that is inside the, uh, the device. We would like to, you to tell us this number because that's helpful in us diagnosing uh, either a problem or any kind of a question you have about the board. Once we have that information, we can direct you to our website and if you sign up at our website under the Client Center, you can get information about this particular product. It's a mechanical configuration and also it's an electronic configuration, including pinouts of the connector, the type of connector that is used on this particular product, and the signals that the device sends out to the host machine, and how the host machine would control, say, an inhibit feature on this Mac. So you can get all that from our website uh, by signing into our client center. If after viewing this video you have additional questions, you can contact us at the phone number listed here or visit our website.